I don't think it's particularly shifted at all over the past two weeks. We obviously haven't had many polls out after Sue Gray's report yet. Mm. But if I'm honest, I'm not sure that the Sue Gray report is going to move things very much either. And the reason for that is that while it's taken Sue Gray quite a long time to get her conclusions out there, the British vote, uh, the British voting public uh, made their own conclusions about these events quite some time ago. Um, they decided that the Prime Minister broke the rules. They decided that he wasn't telling the truth about it. And that is one of the reasons, uh, not the only reason, but one of the reasons why the Conservative Party has fallen behind in the opinion polls over the past few months and why Boris Johnson's approval rating is nowhere near where it previously was. So uh, it's done some damage to the, the, the Conservative Party brand. It's done some damage to the Prime Minister. The public do say that they're now ready to move on, but, uh, but I think it's going to be very hard for the Prime Minister uh, to come yeah. back from the damage that's been done. Yes, we're looking on our screens now of Boris Johnson's approval rating, a poll that your uh, organisation has uh, done. And we can see that really Boris Johnson's approval is nowhere near as high as it used to be, even six or, 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 or just about a year ago. Uh, it's been on a steady downward trend. However, there's been a slight tick up, nothing dramatic, but a slight increase. Is this Conservatives, <clears throat> perhaps, some of them coming back to the fold? Yeah, there is a little bit of that. <laughs> I think, you know, when stories like this first hit, um, there's a lot more of a dramatic move and, and, and eventually things start to, to float back. I mean, the big question going forward, I think, is you know, given that Partygate has done a fair amount of damage to the Prime Minister's reputation, how does he bring that back? Um, can he come back from this? If so, how? And the most likely path to him doing so is by being seen to handle the cost of living crisis well. There's currently a view among the public, not just that he was bad at you know, partying, but uh, that the Conservatives aren't particularly good at handling the economy either. Mm. That's actually the number that's probably more important for him to turn around. Um, I think it's going to be very difficult for him to do so because God knows how tough the next few months are going to be with inflation and the economy. But I think that's ultimately what the government needs to be focusing all of its time on. How much do you reckon that these two issues are actually interlinked? If the, if the uh, British public think that Boris Johnson didn't have control over his staff at Downing Street, potentially they may think he doesn't have control over the economy either. Is it a stretch to say that potentially one issue may fold into the other in public opinion? I think to a certain, to a certain extent it does fold into each other. I mean, you know, we ask questions all the time, like, do you think the prime minister's competent? Do you think he's a strong leader? Do you think he's trustworthy? Um, and what Partygate's done is it's you know, really damaged the prime minister's ratings on all of those numbers. Now, if people don't think he's competent, if people don't think he's a strong leader and people don't think he's likable, they're just as likely to apply that to uh, the way he's going to handle cost of living and economy as they are, you know, to think that he broke the rules on, on Partygate. I think sort of the way I frame it in my head is this year was always going to be incredibly tough for the government, incredibly tough um, with rising prices, um, you know, a cost of living crisis, and that's always a difficult um, territory for the Conservatives to be playing on. You know, the public tend to think that the Conservatives who are the grown ups who make the difficult decisions on the economy. But it's the Labour Party who are better at making the kind of decisions that help them in their own personal finances. That's the reputation the two parties have. So when you've got a situation like this where people's personal finances are really struggling, uh, you know, that's obviously going to be incredibly difficult for the Conservatives yeah. at the best of times. And the Conservative Party is not going into this crisis at the best of times, mm. partly because of, or substantially because of uh, the party gate allegations. And I think that is why us pollsters come on shows like this and tell you that we do think it's going to be incredibly tough for the Prime Minister and the Conservatives to get through this.